It's Chance and Real. I know everybody heard about us and knows about it from your favorite reality TV show. I love New York. I love money. And Real Chance of Love. And can't forget about Legend Hunting. We was hunting all right. You know, we built a big following, man, since 2007. Now it's time to take all our fans, man, and take y'all to another level. Every day on Reality Radio. Hello, 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 white America, assassinate my character. Money matrimony, yeah, they trying to break the marriage. I will main shot town, Brooklyn to our top. It's your boy Real. It's your boy Chad. And it's your girl JT. Let's get some quick reality check, shall we? Yes, yeah, indeed. With, uh, let's go to reality TV, man. What's up with these reality hoes and shows? Oh, man. Speaking of hoes, uh, Snooki. I mean, I'm a Jersey girl, but Snooki just came out that she's bisexual. <laughs> Not a shocker. I feel so sorry for her little hobbit boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> I want to talk about her pancake butt. <laughs> Me too. Well, I mean, she's been losing weight, but you know what? The fact that she came out as bisexual is not a shocker to me. She's, me neither. She's so desperate, she's now going to make out with girls because all wow. the guidos are over her. Guido taquito. All I know is she don't need to lose no weight off that butt because it's getting flatter and flat out. Give her, give her uh, 10 pounds or something. Do that you butt. like that? You like her? You like Snooki's oh, behind? No. You, you had a uh, crush on her from day one. I'm sorry. I, got, I do have love for Snooki. I do have love for Snooki, just not for that flat butt. So what do you like? I do like her upset breasts. <laughs> <laughs> you know? I know. I knew he was going to say that. What's up with Coco? And I'm talking about Ice T's Coco. Yeah, it looks like she's sharing cocoa butter with her ba- uh, her sister's baby. What happened? A little bit more than cocoa butter, a little bit more like Similac. But you know, I'm not even, I wasn't even tripping on the picture or, or whatever I was looking at there. Because the baby was a baby. I think, that, I mean, maybe you the media it. turned it around. Maybe no, it was no, no. she fell asleep How wrong Who took the pic? Who? I she might have just got I... through breastfeeding. Maybe the sister can't breastfeed. I don't know. Yeah, how did these pictures like surface on the internet? I do not mean to cut you off, but I think her sister did that. Yeah, you're right. Come on, probably. you think her sister did that? Who else would do that? All I know is I'd feel trippy if I saw your wife laying in the bed with my baby naked. I'm the f***ing man. Y'all don't get it, do you? Type of money, everybody acting like you know you. Every day, what anybody say. Can't see him because the money in the way. Real what's up? Hey, what's up? It's your boy Chance. And it's your boy Real. And it's your girl JT. And you're listening to Reality Radio. That's right. That's right. Get excited. So, dog, you hear about that Drake situation? Ooh. Yeah, I did. Y'all, you gotta know what I'm talking about, right? So, what's she supposed to be suing him for? Okay, so apparently from the very beginning, this girl wrote the song with Drake. Her voice is on the song Marvin's Room. This was long before Cash Money, long before Lil Wayne. Now she wants half. Good luck with that. Wow, wow. She's coming out the woodworks, but man, uh, if she was a part of the hit bill in the beginning, she's entitled to something. That's word from your boy Chance. Not half, yeah, yeah. but something. I don't know about 50%, but I could see her getting something. Because your damn sure ain't going through no divorce. Give her some kibbles and bits to eat for a few years, you know? Cash Money has offered her 2%. She said no, 5%. She said no, tell that girl to go get her money. Just give her a little crib. Uh, hey, just give her a little crib down south. That's 100000 You know what I'm south. saying? Now shut her up. Call it a night. I dig it. I dig, it. I dig that. I dig that. I dig that. I dig that like Shoot, that. man. Hell, I'd be satisfied if I was her. Man, you, know, next, you better man. get your house out of this, okay? And, and take care of them babies. What's that on that beat? <laughs> rack city chick, rack, rack city chick. 10, 10, 10, 20s and them 50s chick. 100 D, VIP, no guest list. TT's all, you don't know, know who you with. Got my other chick. I got something for you, New York. Putting my brother on blast. What was New York like? Would you bring New York home? To your mother or your dog? <laughs> <laughs> to your dog. That's cold. That's cold. Sure, I don't mind letting her play with her kind. Tell me what I do. <laughs> that's cold. That's cold. You're calling her out, so I'm telling you. You know, I mean, she did me dirty. I had so much love for her. She I mean, said she oh. used a dildo on my brother. Oh. And guess what? I will use a dildo on her. <laughs> You ever cross me like that? Wait a second. Wait uh, a yeah, second. Yeah. You can get an emotional right now. So I don't think we should oh, talk about Oh, he get real you. emotional yeah, when it comes to New York, man. Right, you want to talk you about You know what I mean? Those old feelings start coming I back. Know. We should ask I the know. callers to call in and join in on the conversation. Hell, we, we should just call her. Yeah. <laughs> should we and get it out the goat's mouth right here and there. Get that goat a ring. Hey, what's up? You're on the radio with your boy Chance and Real and Little J- York. JT Money. We call it Lil York. Lil Yorkie. <laughs> Lil York. Before I go deep into it, I want to know what, what you've been up to. You working on anything lately? Yes. My career is still thriving and still doing good. They're showing all my shows now in the UK. Did you check out the uh, the Flavor Flav uh, roast? I was expecting you to be in the front row. Right. What happened? What's going on? Did you talk to Flav? I love Flav. I could never be on a roast or anything like that because he's just 
such a kind-hearted, genuine person, and I could never say anything against the man. <laughs> you know we got a lot of love for you, man, but I got I to gotta ask you this because I saw this on the web. It was all over the web, and I don't know if this is true or not. In, in the interview they, that somebody took, they said that you said that you uh, when you when we were filming I Love New York, you used a, a dildo <gasps> on Chance, and he liked it, and blah, blah, blah. Is Chance there? Yeah, he's yeah, there. Yeah, I'm here. Spirit okay. and, and, well, and, Chance, and skins well, and all Chance, that. I would like to think that you have learned enough about character, persona, and to know me as a woman to never open up my mouth and say anything like that. And I think that is disgusting for you to even ask me if I said something like that because you should know well, by now my character that I would never say anything like that to you and I invited you guys to come to my party you came to show love why the hell would I just no, it wasn't like to that? say it wasn't so the party should, no, no, it, it talking, wasn't your party I'm talking to Kamar right now if you're it. asking somebody a question Speak that on. means you're looking for the truth that means that, that there's a what? shadow of a doubt in your mind that I could have said that now we'll that hurts that. me for you to think that I could have said that about you now on that note this interview is done Damn, just like I assumed. Wow. You feel better? Well, hey, let me say something. I, you about know, I feel like, well, dog, I defensive. feel like, let me tell you something, man. She, might, hey, she got defensive. She so must have said She something. said it. Yeah. That's why she got defensive, man. I'm, a, I, I'm the type of person, I don't have to get all crazy over something. I think she would, she said something. Right? You know? You know. Whatever, you're whack. We gave her so a reality So anyway, check. we gave New York around. She's in, she's out, and we'll never be calling her again. I understand. You see you trying to change the image of New York, and that's why you're trying to act like a saint and all. But you know what, man? You disappoint me, dog. It's your boy Chance, and we're back with the Red Carpet Rundown. All right, let's give you guys the Red Carpet Rundown. Right now, Hollywood is having some crazy parties. I went out to this red carpet for Mary J. Blige. Nice. Belvedere was sponsoring. Nice. It was hot. I was talking with Forrest Whitaker. Nice. Yeah, he's awesome. Yeah, that he's guy's a nice cool. dude. He's he looks nice cool. He's he looked a little buzz. Yeah, he looked a little buzz. He did? Yeah. Well, the yeah. Belvy was there. Yeah, the I'm Drink it for a good cause. You know, if Forrest Whitaker can still get buzzed, that means he's in great shape. Right. You know. I, like I said, anyone from MC Light was there to Chelsea Handler, who obviously supports Belvedere because they sponsor her. And then also I sent over my co-host to another party. Will I Am was throwing a, a big bash. Oh, that's our boy. A lot he's of people. Cool. Jessica Alba was there. Speaking of Will I Am. Speaking of Will I Am, what's up with Will? Yeah. I don't, I don't know, man. All I know, we were at a rave not too long ago. And what? We saw Will I Am. He was out of his mind. Yes, he was. What was, what was he on? Oh, I don't know, but he was on something. And from and the way he ooh. slid on his back, he, I mean, his... I mean, ooh, slid, <laughs> he slid straight on his back. And everybody was looking like, damn, Will. I was like, damn, <laughs> Will. I didn't know you get down like that, bro. Yeah, you know? He must have been so loaded because he fell on his back. I'm talking about slip and fell straight back. Got up like it wasn't no problem and kept yeah. pushing. But well, the last time I saw him, he was wearing a man paid. purse. A oh, man purse. So maybe it was I'm joking, purse. Will. It was like one of those, like, fanny packs. Oh, and I was no. like, yo, I like your purse. He's like, it's a man purse. So I'm like, oh. I don't do the man purse. I don't do none of that man person. I don't manscape. I don't do any of that. What? You don't manscape? Well, Why? Well, yeah, actually I do. I oh, love it. Manscape. I think every man should do a little manscape. Yeah, you're right. Oh, oh manscape. Yeah, I don't know what Harry and the Henderson. Yeah, I mean, you yeah. do have to shape. Dude, take a comb to it or a pick. Yeah, I used to date a guy from Afghanistan. Yeah. That was a, a bush. Oh, you did? Yeah. Afghanistan. Yeah, that was a, that was a bush. <laughs> oh, man. That was... Ah. Did they, have, did they have a bush under the underarms too? I heard they're bushy everywhere. <laughs> everywhere. I said I see some ladies in here tonight. I might marry her. Going off the belly and throne is too scary, baby. She'll love books and cook and look just like you. The laser bird. <laughs> it's real sports with your boy, real. And, uh, you know, I watch a lot of sports, unlike my brother. I'm always watching ESPN, man, and, you know, first games. take. Super Bowl, championship, this, that, Ah, final. yeah, sure you do. Yeah, no, cut to the chase, go. But one of the things I've been watching lately is uh, TNT, you know, because Shaq's on there now with Barkley. And I thought it was me at first. I thought I was tripping, you know. I thought, I was like, man, I swear it looks like Shaq and Barkley. There's some, some beef going on here, man. I'm seeing the way they're looking at each other. You know, I'm oh, they, they didn't like each other? They dog, going dog, on. dog. It's, hey, it's serious, bro. Like, it's serious. I think this is what I think is going on. What? What? For all that time, it was Barkley's show. And now here comes Shaq on there wrecking shop. He gets to do his own little skits and all this little behind-the-scenes footage. And Shaq just came over and damn near took over the show. And, dude, Barkley does not like it. I'm talking about at all, bruh. Dude, they had a stare-down 
I'm talking about a Wild Wild West stare down. No. I'm not joking, bro. For real? Dog. I thought they was going to just, I thought they was going to shoot each other right, right on the panel. It was that bad. What? And I thought they was going to be cool because Barkley did Shaq show, Shaq versus. Right. You know what I mean? And now Shaq's on there and Shaq just took over. I mean, yeah. just took over, bro. I mean, he, Shaq's walking around in his draws. You know, you, I don't, y'all didn't see that? <laughs> and Charles Barkley was like, what the hell? You know, because Shaq just don't give a damn. You know, he don't give a damn. He walks around in his footies. You know what I mean? Straight gangster style. I'm just glad to see Shaq, man, doing something uh, uh, still with the basketball. No, I am I mean? too, man. I mean, but I'm telling you, dog, it's going to be a fight before the season's over. <laughs> it's going to be a fight. You know, I'm a big Laker fan. But for some reason, bro, some reason, Kobe just wants to shoot the ball 30 times a game. Oh. Why is Kobe shooting the ball 30 times a game like he's 18 years old? Because he don't got no trust in his players, man. You got the best big men in the game. You got Gasol, you got Bynum. That's why Bynum said I won out. That's why he said he wanted to leave, because he knew Kobe Bryant was not feeding him the ball. And I love you, Kobe. I love you. You got to take a back seat a little bit, bro. And it's called a basketball team. You know what I mean? Thank you, Give Al. your players a chance. They have fans, too. And Ron, he needs to, man, Ron, he needs to play like the... Like that, 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 on crack. Man, like the angry Ron. Remember Ron when you went up in the stands and you was knocking fans out left and right? And I want to see that, Ron. I'm tired okay? of peacemaking Ron. <laughs> you know what I mean? I need Ron on crack. You know, let's see if we can get Ron on the phone, because, Jay, I know you know uh, uh, Mr. World Meta Peace or Better Peace, whatever they call him nowadays. Can you get him on the phone? Imagine his voicemail. Yo, what's the matter, world peace? <laughs> Your call has been forwarded to an automated voice. Should we leave him a message? Three, one. Let's leave him a message. He is not available. At the tone, oh, please crap. record your message. Yo, Ron, a.k.a. Meta World Peace, you're live on the air right now. Just wanted to call and tell you how much I love you. Star Cam, but we got real enchants with me. What's up? What's up? You're probably What's practicing, up? right? What's going on, Meta World Peace? Hey, dude, I saw you the, uh, a couple games ago, man. You was out there balling. You had your angry Meta World Peace out there, man. I, can I please see more of that from you, man? Because you're like a new age Dennis beast Rodman. Beast mode. Beast please, mode. Please, beast mode, baby, beast mode. And he's a great rapper, too. Anyways, yo. Holla at your boys. We're about to play your music right now. Holla. Hater. Holla. It's Reality Radio, Real and Chance. We're here with our younger brother, Mikey. Chilling in the building. That's right, Mike is here, man. Mikey, he's gonna tell you all the new hot technologies out there, man. Banging for your buck, man. Holla at him, Micah. What's up, what's up, y'all? You know it's the only Mr. Stallion there in the building. Stallion there. That's right, so check it out. Man, I dropped my phone in the toilet. Again? Again. You know, so this is going to be the last time, so check this out. <laughs> I'm surfing online trying to figure out a good case. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. It's waterproof. Uh-huh. I found out this company called Liquid Pail. Liquid Pail. That means it repels water off your, all your gadgets, oh, right? Oh, you know, right? I try to call them up, you know what I'm saying? See if I can get my stuff Liquid Pail. Uh -huh. uh -huh. So he told me to send him my phone. I sent him my phone. He sent it back. So let me ask you something. You got your phone back. Did you test it? Did you dump it in some water or something like that? I want you to be the judge. Okay. So take that water right there. Okay, here's the water. Damn, you want me to take okay. Take that water right there. All right, all right. Oh, oh. Are you sure it's going to be all right? It's under the water. Did you see how that water just rolled off? It just bounced right off. Okay, okay, take it out the water. Let's see if it works. Oh, man. Yeah, damn. But... Still... Dang, it still works. It's still bro. working. Man, that's nice, that's man. Can trippy. we get this company on the phone so we can talk to them, man? So I can get my products done? Wait, wait, let me ask yeah, you a question. Yeah, can you liquid pail anything or is it just cell phones? Man, I sent them everything I got, man. My drawers, everything. <laughs> no. Damn. Yeah. So anyways, can you get them on the phone, Mike? Let me try to get them on the phone. Yeah. Danny, you're on the air with the Stallionaires. This is the tech segment. It's called Bang for Your Buck. I think we lost Danny. Damn it, Danny! <laughs> Danny! <laughs> Danny, are you okay? Are you okay, Danny? <laughs> All right, Danny, you're back on the air with the Stallionaires, and uh, this is the yeah, this is the section called "Bang for Your Buck." And I was trying to sell everybody, you know, on your product because I love what you did to my phone, Danny. Tell them what your product can do, and tell them what can you put your product on. 
Definitely. So what liquid pell is, it's, it's a liquid repellent technology that we uh, actually apply to your cell phone so you don't get water damage anymore. So you can go ahead and answer that uh, important phone call or blast out that text while you're standing in the shower. Right. Oh, okay. okay. So, so if I accidentally fall in Lake Minnetonka, I can't uh, call somebody on there to save and tell them I'm drowning? That's right. That's right. You can try, though. Uh, but we are open to the, to the public. You can actually come right into our location in, in Southern California, or you can go to our website at liquipel.com and uh, send your device in and, and get the treatment yourself. Now, is your product the only product like this, or is there something similar on the market? And how much? Does we are the only one in the world that offer it to the public. And it is fifty nine dollars. So you know it is a lot less expensive than, than paying another you know, six hundred dollars for that iPhone. And that and that your phone is liquid for life? That's right. Uh Danny, uh one caller uh, just uh texted in that that grandmother's having some leaky issues and can you do uh her pampers? <laughs> 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 What's up, bro? Dog, man, you're on Reality Radio, man. Talk talk to me and my boy, Real Chance. We got JT, man. Holler at us, man. You're on Slipping and Dipping Live. What's happening, man? Say what's up to Dog, man, y'all. What's up? Yo, what's up, Dog, man? What's up, boy? What's up, bro? Oh, what's up, bro? So we was calling you, man, to see how your love life is, man. We heard you've been uh, slipping and dipping lately. Yeah, you've been dogging, I heard. Oh, uh, come on, man. You know, I got, I got to keep that love life, baby, boy. What's that? <laughs> look, look, look. Dog, man, keep it 100. Dog, man, who do you want to slip and dip? If it's one person out there that you would love to slip and dip, <laughs> and before you leave this planet, who is it? Oprah Winfrey. Oh, bro. Oprah Dog Winfrey. Man. He loved the money. <laughs> <laughs> hey, if I had Oprah, uh -huh. one night she wouldn't, want, she wouldn't want to go back to Stephen, whatever his name Whoa! is. Oh! Put her in the doghouse, huh? Forget about it. Huh? Okay, okay. So, so, uh, that means, so that means you got your slipping and dipping game up? I'm dog kennels and all that. What? Oh, you say you're going to have a bag in the back with the dog kennels? Oh, <laughs> 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 This one is for the boys with the booming system. Top town, ACL, with the coolest system. When he come up in the club, he be blazing up. Got stacks on deck like he's saving up. And he ill, he real, he might got a deal, he pop.